Welcome to this week's Transport Vlog. And there's a big, big bit of news coming up this week. On Wednesday, the European Commission will publish its Smart and Sustainable Mobility Strategy. Now, this is the first kind of real transport policy that the European Commission has come out with, this new European Commission. We've had the Green Deal before, we've had things in digital, all of this kind of thing, but there hasn't been really anything meaty to do with transport. So here are three things to look out for after the big announcement on Wednesday. Uh, first thing, the most exciting thing, is uh, train travel. It's the silver bullet for all of our problems, right? It's sustainable, everyone loves it, trains are the way forward. Um, and under this new strategy, according to the drafts that we've seen anyway, um, the Commission wants high-speed rail to double by the end of the decade and to triple by mid-century in 2050. Now that's rather ambitious, shall we say. Um, it doesn't completely suggest how we're going to achieve that, but it does things like, you know, extra funding for infrastructure, uh, better incentives for passengers to use it, better ticketing, um, and then indirectly making short haul um, aviation a little less appealing than it is at the moment. So that's one thing to look out for which, for train travel. Uh, the second thing, is that um, this is really the first kind of transport thing that the Commission has come out with. Adina Valian has been conspicuous in her absence from a lot of things. You know, we've had things like the single European sky proposal and the slots waivers for aviation, but nothing really else. Um, so now this is sort of her chance to really put her hand up and say that she's really a big member of Team von der Leyen, as it were, you know, so that um, she isn't in the, the shadow of Franz Timmermans or or um, Kadri Simpson as the Energy Commissioner, for example. So that's a bit of like the political in that's going to be going on. And then the third thing is basically, how does this all tie in with the Green Deal? We've got things like zero emission car targets, um, what legislation needs to be reviewed next year or the year after. It's all going to have to come together in one synchronised mesh. Um, don't expect anything from this strategy that is really groundbreaking. Um, I mean, it's all going to leverage on things that we already know, all the things that have been sort of proposed so far. Um, it's really going to be sort of a visionary document, as it were. But it still will be significant because it will confirm at least where the EU is going, the direction of travel. You know, things like um, zero emission aircraft and boats, big deal, but they've already been sort of suggested by people like Airbus and Maersk and all these kind of people. So it's really sort of the EU aligning its priorities more than coming out with anything fresh and brand new. Um, watch the website for sort of a full bit of analysis of this. We'll have an event on Wednesday as well, live while this is happening for a bit of live reaction. Um, and we'll probably delve into this even deeper in the newsletter next week. Um, thank you for watching once again and welcome to my garden. Isn't it lovely? Um, and yes, thank you for watching, rewatch, subscribe, send to your friends, and until that moment, go away.